The Dorian mode is really good for songwriting because it has this mellow, almost wistful vibe. So it has this really cool sound that songwriters use all of the time. You'll hear it a lot in jazz music, but it's really in all genres, all styles of music, as you'll see. And you can use the Dorian mode too. So in this video, we're gonna look at how it works. We're also gonna look at six really good chord progressions that use the Dorian mode so you can get the juices flowing to apply to your own songwriting. And then we're also gonna look at why certain chords are used so you know how to include them in a chord progression to give it a distinctive Dorian sound. So to start, the Dorian mode is just a permutation of the major scale. It's the second mode of the scale. And what that means is that if you start with say the C major scale, for example, you have notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. But starting on each separate note, you can form seven different modes. The first mode, the major scale itself, is the Ionian mode. And then starting on the second note, in this case D, the pattern is D, E, F, G, a, B, C, and D, or the D Dorian mode. Starting on the third scale degree, or E in this case, we get the Phrygian mode, and then the Lydian mode, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. Seven different modes or permutations of the source scale, which in this example is C major. These are called relative modes because they're all related. They all stem from the same shared pattern. But each separate mode has its own sequence of notes, its own interval pattern that gives it a distinct sound. So if we label the first note in each mode, as one, the different sequence of whole steps and half steps in these modes results in different interval patterns. The major scale or Ionian mode is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The Dorian mode is one, two, flat, three, four, five, six, flat, seven, eight, and so on. And these seven mode patterns apply in any key. For example, if we align all of these modes so that the ones all start on the same note, in this example on the C note, we get the seven C parallel modes, and they're called parallel instead of relative because all of the modes align. They all start on the same note, in this case, C. And looking at these patterns like this, it's easier to see the differences between interval patterns to create different sounds for each mode. The most common one, the most popular one that you hear in music is the Ionian mode, or the major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it has a happier or more uplifting sound. The next most popular one is the Aeolian mode, also known as the minor scale, which sounds relatively sad or melancholy. And the Dorian mode is also really popular because it's emotionally midway between the two. It shares most of the same intervals with the Aeolian mode, or the minor scale, but with a raised sixth here, making it sound kind of like the major scale, or kind of like the Ionian mode, which makes the Dorian mode sound somewhere between the happy Ionian and the sad Aeolian with a sort of smooth, wistful vibe. So you can arrive at Dorian either way. From Ionian, you just flatten the third note and the seventh note to form this pattern, or from Aeolian, it's the same pattern, but a raised sixth. And this sixth note, this raised sixth, is what gives Dorian its distinctive sound. Sound. None of the other modes have this exact same interval pattern. So the Dorian mode is in that middle range of sonic vibes created by different modes. It has more of a nuanced, ambiguous, and intriguing sound that, like I say, is used in a lot of jazz, but used by artists like Pink Floyd, Radiohead, Harry Styles, and many others. So we're going to look at the theory behind how the Dorian mode is used so you can use it in your own songwriting. So first let's take the mode like D Dorian, for example, and we'll build the chords on each scale degree, starting on each note and then combining every other note to form seven different triads, seven different chords. In D Dorian, the first chord is a minor chord or D minor. The second chord is also a minor chord, E minor. The third chord starting on the flat three is a major chord, so it's a flat major three or F major. The triad starting on the fourth scale degree or G is major, so it's a major four chord. The fifth chord is a minor minor chord, A minor. The sixth chord is a diminished chord, B diminished. And then the seventh chord in D Dorian, starting on the flat seven C, is a major chord, so it's a flat major seven chord. These are the seven chords in the Dorian mode, D Dorian specifically. Minor one, minor two, flat major three, major four, minor five, diminished six, and flat major seven. And with just these seven chords, we can create some really cool stuff. Shown here as guitar chords, in D Dorian, these harmonies are just the same chords as in the key of C major, or C Ionian, because again, D Dorian is a permutation of C major. It's just that in C major, C is a major one, and then all of the other chords have different numerals to represent where the respective harmonies fall within this pattern, within this mode. And likewise, these same seven chords are also used in A minor, or the A Aeolian mode, which is another permutation of the same pattern, which has its own set of numerals when A minor is the one chord, is the minor one. But in the Dorian mode, in this case, D Dorian, where D minor is the minor one, when this chord is the tonic, or 
of the tonal home base, the point of resolution in a song, the chords in a progression take on a Dorian feel, as we'll look at in the next examples. But something to remember is that because that raised sixth interval in the Dorian mode is unique, it's what gives the mode its distinctive sound, any chords with a raised sixth note reinforce the Dorian feel. And in the case of D Dorian, as our example, B is the sixth note, is that raised sixth, which is found in the minor two chord, the major four chord, and the diminished sixth chord. And it's also the major seventh in the flat major seven chord. So sometimes that chord is used to reinforce, like I say, that Dorian feel. So in the examples we're gonna look at, you'll notice that these chords in particular show up a lot. Okay, so let's look at these six Dorian progressions with increasing complexity as we go. The first is by far the most popular and common Dorian progression, which is just going back and forth between a minor one and a major four. The third note in the major four chord is the raised sixth note of the Dorian mode. So this major four has a very Dorian sound. And you'll hear this progression, the minor one, major four, all the time. In fact, it's so common that it's sometimes called the Dorian vamp. So it's a staple of jam bands who can trance out on this progression for hours on end. It's also the signature sound of Pink Floyd. It's used in The Wall Part Two, Any Color You Like, and a bunch of other songs by them. Santana's Oye Como Va is also built on this basic progression. And Mark Ronson's Uptown Funk, here's what it sounds like. Uptown Funk You Up, Uptown Funk You Up. You can play this same minor one, major four progression, the same pattern in any key. It's the same in every key. And these diagrams are in the community if you wanna check them out. The link is in the video notes. The next chord progression we'll look at in the key of B, B Dorian, for example, is the minor one, flat major seven, major four progression, or in this case is B minor, A major, and E major. And it sounds really good too. It's used in a lot of different songs like Lana Del Rey's Blue Jeans, which has a sultry vibe. The same pattern is actually used in Chris Isaac's Wicked Game, as well, which sounds like this. The world is on fire, no one can save me but you. It's strange what desire make foolish people do. No, I don't want to fall in love. No, I don't want to fall in love. The next progression that we'll look at in the key of F, F Dorian, adds one more chord to the mix. So it's minor one, flat major three, flat major seven, and major four. Or in this example, F minor, A flat major, E flat major, and then B flat major. Used in the song Mad World by Tears for Fears, which has a very Dorian sound to it. And it goes like this. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces, bright and early. progression repeats following this really beautiful pattern. So we've looked at the first three progressions and now that we're midway through you may have noticed a pattern which is that each one goes from a major four chord to a minor one. The major four has that raised sixth in it, that interval of a raised sixth which has a distinctive Dorian sound and so going from major four to minor one really gives it that Dorian feel. Now that's not necessarily the case. You don't have to have a major four to a minor one but so far that's been the case. Though we're going to look at three more progressions that build on these different patterns and have some really cool sounds. The next example is in the key of E, so E Dorian, and the chords include minor one, flat major three, major four, and flat major seven, but rearranged in a different way. And this progression shows up in Simon and Garfunkel's Scarborough Fair, which is actually an old folk tune that sounds really nice. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Even the lyrics of this song reinforce that wistful, longing feel of the Dorian mode. And this next example in the key of D, D Dorian, includes an additional chord, the minor two, which has that raised sixth in it, so it sounds really good. And this progression is in R.E.M.'s song Drive that starts with that classic minor one, major four, minor one sequence, and then ends with the major four, minor two, and minor one, where the major four and minor two both have that raised sixth note in it, and then the progression resolves to that minor one. Kids, rock and roll, nobody tells you where to go, baby. What if I write 
What if you walk? What if you rock around the clock? Tick tock, tick tock. What if you did? What if you walk? What if you tried to get off, baby? This song, like all of the others, is recognizably Dorian. And then the last example we'll look at, the sixth progression, is in the key of A, A Dorian. It includes six chords from this mode, minor one, minor two, flat major three, major four, minor five, and the flat major seven. And then interestingly, it uses a borrowed chord, the flat major six, to give it a little unexpected variety. And the song is Karma Police by Radiohead. And notice how it starts with a minor one, major four, and then ends with a minor two, major four, minor one. Again, where the major four and the minor two both include that raised sixth the note, which is what gives the Dorian mode its distinct sound. Karma police, arrest this man, he talks in mass, he buzzes like a fridge, he's like a deep tune radio. And then the progression cycles through the same Dorian pattern. And if you didn't know the Dorian mode, then you might think these chords seem kind of random, but they're not. They're all from this mode, which is why the song has this pensive, nuanced sound. So all of these examples show that you can do a lot with the Dorian mode. That raised sixth in the pattern gives it its distinct sound. So it's somewhere between the happy Ionian mode and the sad Aeolian. It's in that wistful zone in between, which sounds really interesting. Like I say, you can do a lot. So hopefully this was helpful. Please let the algorithm know if you liked it. All of these diagrams are in a post in the community. The link is in the video notes. So uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.